about the function of that, that thing. So here there is a function that it prevents the marked change of a pH. And when moderate amount is added, only when a small amount is added, that is moderate amount is added. If you just pour one liter of acid inside your blood and you expect your buffers to neutralize it, no, that will not happen, okay? So moderate amount of acid or base is added. Another thing I told you that all buffer remain in a buffer pair, in pair, in pair. Pair, what is the pair? On top, weak acid, sorry, uh, uh, base or conjugate base or salt and below the acid, the weak acid. And it has to be a weak acid. Remember, it has to be a weak acid and inorganic acid. The only inorganic acid which is weak is called carbonic acid. So all the buffer, so the buffer pair is always written this way. Look, what is it? It is the conjugate base over the weak acid. Conjugate over the weak acid. Buffer pair is symbolized. The symbol of the buffer pair is you put a salt on top over acid, weak acid. In my last class, I told you about the buffer systems. Buffer systems, right? The common buffer system are bicarbonate buffer, I told you, phosphate buffer, protein buffer, oxyhemoglobin buffer, reduced hemoglobin buffer, ammonia buffer. Okay. So uh, these are the body buffers. These are the blood buffers. These are the common buffers. Now, a very important question we used to ask, what are the important buffers acting in the RBC? What are the important buffers acting in blood? What are the important buffers? What are the intracellular buffers? What are the extracellular buffers? In different ways, this buffer question can come. Okay, We, we also ask, what are the important buffers acting in the venal system or acting in the kidney system? Can you hear me, everybody? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So a very important question is, uh, what are the buffers acting in the kidney system? Or what are the venal buffers? Short for you answer, the phosphate buffer, ammonia buffer, and also bicarbonate buffer. Bicarbonate will also work in the kidney. But you have to say ammonia and phosphate. That is more important for the kidney. Okay, ammonia buffer and phosphate buffer. Then you say then you say about the bicarbonate. Now another important question we used to ask: Which is the most important buffer in our body? The answer is bicarbonate buffer. Okay, again I'm telling you bicarbonate buffer. Bicarbonate buffer. What are the? How is that uh, symbolized? Sodium hydrogen carbonate or sodium bicarbonate on top and over below to CO4, carbonic acid. So the, there is the conjugate base, sodium bicarbonate over carbonic acid. So this is the uh, symbol, symbol of the buffer pair, the bicarbonate buffer pair. Okay, bicarbonate buffer, why it is the most important buffer of the body? This, this is a very common question which is asked there are also other buffers, protein buffer, hemoglobin buffer. But uh, as a written question, as a common question, bicarbonate buffer used to come. Okay, so in my last class, I told you about the PK, the PK value of bicarbonate buffer is 6.1, I told you. And the plasma concentration is high. It is 25.0, 24, 24 you can say, 24 millimole per liter. It is uh, 24 to 28, that is the range, okay, of the bicarbonate. And it mainly works in blood, in the extracellular fluid. And another important thing I want to tell you that it has an open end system. I'm coming there later. Remember something, the buffering capacity out of all the buffers, the buffering capacity, buffering capacity is also something different. How much amount of acid and alkali can be neutralized by a liter of buffer? That is how we measure the buffering capacity of the buffer. In this way, in our body, the buffer which has the highest buffering capacity is bicarbonate buffer. Okay, 
normally they confuse with another thing that is called potent buffer p o t e n t potent shoktishali khash kore bhenge jay oi ta ki that is for phosphate buffer but it is not the most important buffer it does not have the most important action but it it is also powerful okay but that is of a different function that is of a different area where it works anyway bicarbonate buffer it also has a role in the urinary system and um buff, uh, bicarbonate buffer i told you it has an open end system did you understand this thing no okay let me again say i'll just teach you one thing because we don't have much time the what is the uh, why bicarbonate buffer is the most important buffer of our body ha ei je ajke kore nao why bicarbonate buffer is the most important buffer of our body because number one you just you just knew that it works in the ecf right in the extra cellular fluid bicarbonate buffer also works inside the cell it is also present inside the cell so that is that means it is also an intracellular buffer it is also an extracellular buffer so it can work in both the compartments it can work both inside the cell and outside the cell so that means it has a wide range of uh, what should i say field of activity it can work in a bigger space in a larger space of the body fluid some some buffer can act only in the kidney some act only inside the rbc so those are confined to a specific region but here bicarbonate buffer has a wide variety of area where it can work okay so this is why this is the first point why bicarbonate buffer is the most important buffer okay number 1 number 2 is that um the buffering capacity is maximum the buffering capacity of uh, of bicarbonate buffer is maximum i told you again what is buffering capacity the buffering capacity is the amount of acid or base that uh, can be added to 1 liter buffer system with ph change by 1 one, one unit that is how you get a measurement of buffering capacity thik uh, ache mane strong acid or alkaline ke can okay, you please repeat buffering uh, buffering capacity it is the amount of strong acid or strong base added to 1 liter of buffer with pH change by one unit. Okay. Mane for the Bengali medium students, I'm telling you, J kotho tu kun acid among alkali lagbe ek liter buffer ke matro ek ek ta pH change ek unit pH change the change kora jono. Joto beshi na amount of acid lagbe, joto beshi alkali lagbe, shudh matro ek ek liter buffer ke এক ইউনিট চেঞ্জ করার জন্য তাহলে সেই সেই বাফারটা কত বেশি তার বাফারিং ক্যাপাসিটি এই যুগ এই যুগ মাথায় রাখো ওকে ফর দা ফরেন স্টুডেন্ট ইউ ক্যান আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড বাই দা ইজি ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ দা অ্যামাউন্ট অফ স্ট্রং অ্যাসিড অর স্ট্রং বেস অ্যাডেড টু 1 লিটার অফ বাফার সিস্টেম উইথ পিএইচ চেঞ্জ বাই 1 ইউনিট সো দ্যাট मींस দা মোর দা অ্যামাউন্ট অফ অ্যাসিড দা মোর দা অ্যামাউন্ট অফ অ্যালকালি that can be added to 1 liter of buffer with a change of 1 unit change the more the buffering capacity of that buffer okay or you can in other words you can also say that buffering capacity is the extent to which a buffer system can buffer an acid or alkali with negligible change koto druto koto taratari buffer korte pare shetai buffering capacity ha so so i told you that bicarbonate uh, buffer is the most important buffer why because it has the highest buffering capacity okay then in number 1 i told you that it works in the icf it works in the ecf so it has a wide range of activity then the second point i told you that the buffering capacity is maximum after that i will tell you that bicarbonate buffer is the most important buffer because um, it has an open end system it has an open end system you might not understand what what open end means open end means when it is open from this side and this side this is the human body from this side and this side this side this side means at least there are two channels the ends are open how for example 
if by any reason um, carbonic acid buffer pair has two things right acid and base component so if anyhow this acid increases in our body carbonic acid then what will happen it will go to the cell and carbonic acid will break down to form carbon dioxide and water okay carbonic acid bhenge carbon dioxide hobe and water hobe that carbon dioxide by the by the respiratory process by the expiration the carbon dioxide will go out of your body by, by the lungs okay so it is going away by one okay now if the if the bicarbonate if the base part is becoming more in our body then it will be excreted by the kidney by the urine okay by making the urine alkaline and then it will go out of the body that means if there is any problem in this buffer pair concentration if there is any problem in the amount of the pair if there is any uh, disproportion if there is any pr problem in the ratio of the pair then what happens by the lungs it is regulated by the kidney it is regulated so there are two places right so that is why we calling it an open end system open end system because both the ends are open which end the lungs the respiratory system that is also one end and the renal system the kidney system that is another end okay open end system ne karo kono question ache i hope everyone understood that open end system can i know whether you've understood that part yes ma'am uthe good arham 102 are you with me Hundred two, are you here? Actually, how many people are participating? I don't understand. You guys are just one class full. Hundred forty-five students, forty students here. Okay, no one is asking me any question. That means you don't have any question, or what? Ma'am, ma'am, I'm very bit cold. Hello, sir. मैसेज दी चो माइक्रोफोन नोस्ट हो म्यूट हुए गए से जो नो कथ बोलते बात करते हैं अच्छा ठीक है सर अच्छा ये कौन टा रिपीट कर बो बोल रहा हूँ जे बाइकर्बोनेट बफर इस कंट्रोल इस मेंटेन बाय एन ओपन एंड सिस्टम एंड दिस ओपन एंड मींस दैट इफ एनी ऑफ द कंपोनेंट्स आउट ऑफ द बेस एंड द एसिड इफ एनी Balanced by our lungs, by our expiration, so when we we will expire the carbon dioxide, or we will expire less carbon dioxide, we will be that is called hyperventilation, or slowly slowly hypoventilation, depending on the amount of carbon dioxide we need to retain in our body. Suppose we need to retain the carbon dioxide, then we will have hypoventilation. The respiratory rate will be decreased in order. For carbon dioxide to accumulate in our body, okay, and when we when we need to expel our carbon dioxide, then we will be uh, we will have be having a more ventilation rate, more respiration rate. In this way, we'll be able to uh, expel out our carbon dioxide or retain our carbon dioxide. And by the kidney, we can excrete out the base or we can reabsorb back the base if we want. So this is how. Um, Bicarbonate buffer system is also maintained. Another important reason why we call it the most important buffer is that bicarbonate, in association with hemoglobin buffer, acts. That means that bicarbonate buffer, in association with hemoglobin buffer, can have the actions can can work. Okay. So again, I repeat, chapter four. Why no bicarbonate buffer is the most important buffer of our body? because number one it can work both inside the cell and outside the cell so it has a wide field of activity number two it has the highest or it has the maximum buffering capacity it it has an open end system it is tightly regulated by the open end system in association with hemoglobin buffer it can work so ei chatte mathay rakho just keep this four things in mind so that you can answer ha yeah. this will come in your written this will come in your oral exam we can also give this for your ospi ospi is a different exam when you come to college we'll show you ospi means it is a 
spotting kind of about you have to roam about a table we'll give you spot questions on table and then you'll be getting only two minutes time for it you have to stand here and quickly you turn your question on table you write the answer and then when the bell goes you go to another another station from there another two minutes you go to another station this exam is called ospi oral structured practical examination so this question about bicarbonate buffer it can come anywhere any damn way it can come in your viva it can come in your written and it's your ospi i mean the practical exam okay so um uh, i was supposed to finish at 12:10 for the chat ma'am bicarbonate buffer is the most important buffer some important points about bicarbonate buffer is that pk is 6.1 mukhusto korba memorize the pk of bicarbonate buffer is 6.1 the concentration is 24 to 28 millimole per liter your blood bicarbonate if you check your if you measure your serum level of bicarbonate or your blood level of bicarbonate bicarbonate age co3 this is bicarbonate age co3 if it is in the ion form minus h co3 minus bicarbonate ion the level of this bicarbonate ion in your blood is 24 to 28 millimole per liter and and if you want to co compare it with phosphate then Uh, the concentration of phosphate in blood is only one one millimole per liter. Hemoglobin around fifty three, protein seven point seven. Ammonia is nil, but the pK of ammonia is nine. The pK of protein is seven uh, point three. Hemoglobin seven point three. Yeah, but the pK of um, phosphate is more around six point eight, which is very close to the physiological pH. Okay. normally mathai rakhba je blood ph is the uh, pk value for most of the buffers okay ma when will uh, we have our item yes you'll have our item from inshallah from uh, uh, can can someone read out what is written in the card in the first item someone has a card in hand now No, ma'am. You don't have the card, ma'am. Uh, I think yeah. Uh, I want to see the card. Ma'am, the card. So everybody, make sure you you don't make a mistake in writing the spelling of Henderson Hasselbach equation. Okay. Ma'am, you had uh, given us some topics uh, which you had said that will be in our first item. um some 12 topics 12 topics your first item will be on the definition of biochemistry its relation with medicine remember you gave an assignment that yes, one will ask you from there you have to define what an acid is what a base is what a strong acid weak acid what is ph what is pk and definitions and importance of the ph scale i'm sure you know about the ph scale right i told you this way that way the whole class i talked about the ph scale you remember yes ma'am right yes ma'am yes ma'am and then buffer definition body fluid buffers mechanism of action in my last class i told you how how buffer acts it has a base component it has an acid component when there is an acidic assault then the base component will come into action when there is a basic assault the acid component will come into action and then it will neutralize it to form a weak acid and water or it will form a salt so and then after that comes the henderson hasselbach equation and its importance importance is very easy dr tafin she taught you right the importance she told you about the importance yes ma'am used to derive the ph ph equals to pk plus log of salt by acid so by this way you can get the ph this is the most biggest importance what else okay and it gives you a relationship between the concentration of the salt and acid so you also know that this this was your first item inshallah um we will take items um hopefully today's tuesday we'll start from thursday and it will continue from up to uh, saturday okay so you get prepared i i think i've give, we've given you a lot of time for the first item intentionally offline classes resume on 13 september 
yes we're hearing but we didn't get the notice yet so unless and until we get the notice we can't just announce it before that so we'll be getting this yeah. excuse me ma'am ma will uh, will uh, will you announce before 5 to 7 days for foreigners because it's it's not possible to be there in just two or three days yes but why don't you start coming if you have a hostel why don't you just start coming now no ma'am without official you notification embassy will not allow us to uh, move to bangladesh without the notification uh, so, official notification but, from the but now there, yes but now there is the government announcement so i think that will be enough for your visa no ma'am uh, embassy is not allowing us without the official notification from the government okay i'll talk to the authority today about it thank you ma'am yeah okay so thank you very much thank you very much from your next class from your next class we will be taking items okay so everyone get prepared the first first item item 1 um, from thursday from thursday yes from thursday thursday theke amra shuru korbo jokhon pari कथा ম্যাম আমাদের অ্যানাটমি আইটেম এর অনেক প্রবলেম হচ্ছে মানে আমরা কিছু বুঝতেছি না অ্যানাটমি অনলাইন ক্লাস টোটালি বুঝি না আমরা কিউই বুঝি না সি গ্রুপের এবং এজন্য আমরা পেন্ডিং ও অনেক বেশি খাচ্ছি ম্যাম ম্যাম সবার কাছে অনলাইন কবে থেকে শুরু হবে টিচার কে তোমাদের সি ব্যাচের অ্যানাটমি স্যার ম্যাম আমার ডক্টর সমিত রানা তাই আমাদের পড়তেও সমস্যা হচ্ছিল অ্যানাটমি অনেকে প্রশ্ন করলেও স্যার ঠিকমতো উত্তর দেন না প্রশ্নের जीवन चिंतित